Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. This is for the entire collective. So no matter what your sign is, if you came across this video, there's something for you in this genre. Okay. This is going to be your seven day forecast. So I'm going to ask three questions for y'all and then give a little bit of advice from somebody on your spirit team. So the first question is just what needs your attention this week? Now, these readings are timeless, so just seven days after whenever you happen to hear this. Using my African American tarot deck. So far, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Fool in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse. And the observer in reverse. So all reversals. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's all bad, but definitely gonna clarify to see what's going on. So what is the ten of wands in reverse, please? Four in reverse. Three of pentacles in reverse. I do so many readings and honestly I can't even remember the last time I got the full in reverse. Kinda random, but one more. Now, a lot of the clarifiers are upright, so that's a good sign. Okay, but we're starting off with the Ten of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this is letting you know that you're about to get some information, letting you know what the truth is about a certain situation. We've been having a lot about truth and clarity in a lot of the readings lately, a lot of the collectives. Um, but with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it's letting you know that this is going to unburden you. Because when it's upright, you see, this person isn't even paying attention to the fact that they're getting messages up here, right? They're so focused on what it is that they don't have. And then they got Mr. Fierce right here looking out for them, but they missing the sign too. So in the reverse, this is letting you know, like, you're not missing anything, honestly. It's more so, like, kind of setting you free, along with the fact that in the upright, this nigga right here is a thief, sneaking off with stuff he knows isn't his okay but it's upright so things are really actually looking up for you full in reverse and the king of swords so i'm not getting that this full in reverse actually reverse <laughs> reverse this full in reverse doesn't actually have to do with you but more so about whoever else is in this situation with you they're being reckless and careless right now and that's bringing you the clarity that you need it's like they have been kind of covering their tracks and successfully hiding things up until now, but the cat's out the bag. Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Swords. Look out for what they're saying, okay? Three of Swords in reverse, that's about literally observing what's going on. Telescope. I wanted to say stethoscope. <laughs> stethoscope. That's not the right word. Telescope, though. Right here, this is showing though they're not paying enough attention because it's in the reverse. And the fact that it's the three and it's the pinnacles, this more than likely has to do with your work situation, honestly. So some old biddies at work trying to sabotage you to make sure you don't get their position or you don't get a higher position to where you're able to have any type of say in what they're doing. So they've been purposely giving you wrong information or they've been going behind your back and giving you like bad reports or something like that. But this page of swords right here, that's letting you know that you have like good news coming to you though about it. So somebody else is peeping what they're doing too, not just you. And so it's going to get rectified soon. Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. This is letting you know that you're almost done waiting. Now the Four of Pentacles upright is about saving money. You don't have enough. This is letting you know though, go ahead and blow a bag. Just throw it in the bag. You got extra money to spend because you are about to get what you deserve. Knight of Cups in reverse and the Moon card. Now there is still a little bit that you won't know but it's not to your detriment so it's more so just letting you know don't be tricked don't be fooled somebody is going to kind of feel bad more so bad for themselves than bad about what they've done to you but they're going to come and try to make amends don't fall for it if somebody that's not usually that nice to you like maybe they're cordial or they're just respectful whatever they think that means but if they're coming across as being extra nice to you doing extra favors and stuff don't trust it okay 
the observer and the hermit both in reverse now upright these guys are both isolating themselves in different ways one looking towards the past one looking towards the future but either way not really paying enough attention even though they're trying to get it together they're both in reverse so that's letting you know outside of these people though you can trust pretty much everybody else that's around you don't have to go through this alone so the main focus of your week to recap is to know that you're gonna get what you deserve. Things are balancing out for you nicely, okay? What obstacles might you face in this situation? Now, if you're somebody that works for yourself like me, this might have to do with like your clients instead, maybe deterring other people from coming to you. Okay, so obstacles, we got the magician in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. So lots of major arcana here. But with this Magician in Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune, it's letting you know that you didn't have everything that you needed prior to this situation, right? But you're about to start getting lots of offers. So along with this promotion or whatever, or new clients or whatever that might mean for you, you may also be getting more tips or opportunity for a bonus or overtime or something like that. So you will end up having what you need. And that's why it's important that you don't hoard money. Because when you're hoarding money, that's an attitude of lack. And so it's going to attract more lack to you. So you want to go out and treat yourself, okay? Because you have this Empress and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a super important card because there's not a lot of them that are looking directly towards you. So that's letting you know you can live in the moment and be okay with the money and stuff that you have. You can go ahead, spin a bag, have a good time. This is letting you know that your spirit team is going to guide you through this. So make sure that you're listening, okay? Now, what opportunities will present themselves? What opportunities will present themselves for you? You got the King of Wands, the Four of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel called to talk about this first. This Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, the Queen of Wands in reverse especially since it has the black cat on it in this deck, this is talking about somebody trying to actually do magic on you. Now, magic isn't always like putting you in a jar or lighting a candle or something like that. It could just be really nasty, ill intentions, and they don't understand that like that's putting a spell on you. This is letting you know, though, that whatever it is that they were trying to do to you, trying to make happen, is going to bounce back on them because you have this nine of pentacles. So it's letting you know it's not working. Like You almost have literally every single thing that you need. So not only is whatever bad intentions they tried to put on you going back to them is not working on you but if anything did happen prior to this like let's say you had to drop a shift or something like that you're gonna get double what you came for when it's all said and done this king of wands and the four of wands in reverse now you can be confident and do what you want as far as you know how you want to treat yourself but it is letting you know that you do need to only treat yourself like don't go crazy and want to take the homies with you be spinning for everybody else that's not what you want to do here keep it to yourself okay because what you don't want is somebody who didn't previously have bad intentions for you to get jealous and be like well why do they get to have this and then they start hating on you too so just keep it to yourself for now but go have a good time even if you just like invite them somewhere but you don't pay for them and you don't tell them like why all of a sudden you got it like that that would be okay now, what opportunities will present themselves? You have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords in Reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So with this Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups, again, it's just letting you know that you're on the right path and you can celebrate. Now, this is usually about celebrating with other people, but they're calling your attention right here to this person solo. She's working on filling her cups right now. Okay, she's not necessarily worried about anybody else. So this is you celebrating yourself, not celebrating with other people. And this is you still working hard for what it is that you deserve. But not too hard because it's just one sword that you got to wield. It ain't eight swords or something like that. Now this five of swords in reverse and this eight of wands. Five of swords upright is usually about somebody being a hater, okay? Stabbing you in the back, going off to try to stab you some more, trying to get you under some type of penalty that they know you don't deserve, right? This is letting you know again, it didn't work. Not only did it not work, but this is about to be wrapped up real soon because quickly, quickly, everything is bouncing right back on them. You don't even got to worry about it. So a word of advice. 
from your ancestors today to wrap this thing on up. Word of advice from your ancestors. What do they want to tell you? Y'all probably notice I look up a lot in my videos. It's because I have ADHD and I'm staring out of the window. A bird goes by, a person walks past or something like that. I gotta look at it. The clouds move different, the trees sways. I can't help but look out the window. But I like to sit right here because it's where the best lighting is. So we just deal with it, okay? All right, you got four of them. Break the Chain, Lemuria, Awakening, and Imrama. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to pronounce these the right way one of these days. Okay, but Break the Chain, it says, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, and Rewriting the Future. So this is letting you know that yes, you're breaking a generational curse right now. And that generational curse that you're breaking is not having to work so hard. What you don't want to do is the fact that like if you're able to get overtime or a higher paid position, you don't want to necessarily work too much more because the point is for you to get more money so you don't have to work as hard because you're getting more within a shorter amount of time instead of you trying to stockpile as much as you can, overworking so much to where you can't even enjoy what you earn. It was 11-11 on the timer when I said that. So, confirmation. This says creating heaven on earth. This again is just like letting you know that you should use this opportunity to go spoil yourself. Do things that you really like to do. Things that you've always wanted, but for whatever reason couldn't. Because you couldn't afford it or you didn't have the sign. It's time for you to do that now. Awakening. Energetic upgrades. You're ascending. This all was some type of test of your commitment. And the test continues. Because are you going to overwork yourself, friend? Your answer better be no. Okay. It should be no. And then this has a shadow question on it. It says, where are you being called to journey to? So this is calling you to actually sit down and reflect on what this lesson is. What are you learning and what is your mission here? So that's what I have for you guys today. Congrats on whatever it is that you got going on. I know you're excited. I'm excited for you. It feels good to have enough money, you know. We don't all need to be rich because let me tell you, real quick digression. I am um, part of this research team and I really want to open a research center in the future but the very last one that I did was last year, um, this research study, and it was basically about people's attitudes towards money. And so for 30 days, every day you consecutively got like gradually got more money. So on day one, you got a thousand dollars to spend day two, two thousand day three, three thousand and so forth. But it was like you can't. Um, what am I trying to say? Like, if you decide to spend the $1,000 on rent on day one, on day two, like, rent's already paid. So, it's a brand new $2,000 or whatever. And so, at the end, you end up having, like, accumulated a dumb amount of money. But you have to spend it all each day. Like, you can't hoard it. You can't save it. But you can give it away. And usually around, like, day nine, people run out of stuff to do with their money. So, people usually say, like, they want $100,000 or they feel like they need a million dollars. It's very common. But... You really don't need that much to be happy because if you do get a large sum of money and you've been in poverty or borderline impoverished your whole life, you wouldn't even know what to do with it. And then a lot of people find out that the stuff that they really want to do, because it requires research on um, the other person's part too, like the participants part, because you have to get real prices. So if you say like on day 27, when you have $27,000, you want to get a down payment on a house, like you need to actually research what house would you buy in what area, how much does it actually cost and what would that down payment be to have like as accurate of a price as possible. So a lot of people, they don't even know what they would do with that much money. You probably really don't either. If you sat down to really write it out, a long term plan on what you would do with a million dollars, you will, you will probably find out that you don't need a million dollars, okay? So you can definitely be excited by this little bit more money that you're getting because as long as you are comfortable, you can really live a happy life. You don't need a million dollars to do that. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Help me spread the word so I can help more people. Because I don't do this for the money. I do it for the love of y'all. Okay? I have another business. I'm actually wearing my own swag right now. That pays my bills. I do this because I genuinely love it. So help me help more people. I would really appreciate that. And I would send you love. And I would pray that you get whatever you want. As long as your heart's pure. And that's real. Okay? Because when y'all really do spread the word, put out some good intentions for me, I really do feel that. And I always send it back as much as I can. Even more so than what you gave me. 
But yeah, um, if you're interested in more about your own personal storyline, you can book a individual reading with me. That'll be in the description box. Join a ritual or something. I got that money ritual popping if you want stuff to happen for you a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's all folks.